Hi yogis, Mikhail here with your 30 minute yoga sculpt and flow class. Today we're gonna to be toning and sculpting the core, arms and legs. And we'll be moving through a yoga flow sequence with a few hip openers as well. You won't be needing any props today except for your mat, except for if you normally use blocks in your practice and you have them at home, then you can always go ahead and grab them. So let's get started. Okay, today we're gonna get our class started just laying on our backs. And you can take your legs into whatever position feels comfortable for you. I'm gonna bring soles of my feet together, knees wide into a butterfly position here. And place the left hand on your heart, right hand on your belly, and just let your eyelids fall closed. And start to find some deep breaths. And allow your mind to focus into this present moment. Start to focus on your breathing. Really slowing it down. Starting to deepen your breaths here. Really fill up your belly and your lungs. Let your right hand rise and fall. Good, take a deep breath in. Exhale, release. And start to draw your knees into your chest. Give them a big squeeze. Good, and we're gonna reach our right our arms overhead and then extend your legs in front of you hovering off the ground then draw your knees into your chest and arms come by your side as you crunch up good inhale to reach long and exhale to crunch knees to chest good inhale reach press low spine into the floor exhale crunch inhale reach exhale crunch Last one. Exhale, crunch. Good, and knees to chest. Good, just warming up the core here. Bring our arms out into a T position here. Stack your knees over the hips, bent at a 90 degree position here. Start to let the knees fall to the right until they hover off the ground. Good, and bring them back to center. Use your core muscles to draw them back to the midline. Good, let them fall to the left, hover off the floor, and bring them back to center. Good, inhale right, exhale center. Use your core, press into your hands and shoulders here. Inhale left, exhale center. Inhale right, exhale, let them fall all the way down to the floor here. Gaze comes to the left fingertips, we're reaching long, pressing our shoulders into the floor, we're letting those knees fall. Good, finding our twist here. If you want to change your positioning of your legs, maybe finding stagger legs here, it's up to you. Good, and take a deep inhale. And exhale, draw your knees back to center. And we're gonna move through our core strengthening flow once again. Let the knees fall to the left, hover off the ground. Good, and back to center. Inhale, right. Exhale, center. Inhale, left. Exhale, center. Good, inhale, right. Exhale, center. Inhale, left, hold, and exhale. Let them fall all the way down to the floor. Gaze comes to the right fingertips here. Deep breaths. Find this spinal twist. Good, and find a deep inhale. And exhale. Bring your legs back to center. Let's plant our feet onto the floor here. We're gonna place hands behind our head. Lift our um, head and shoulders off the ground. We're gonna to twist to the right 
then twist left and lower down. Good, now this time twisting left, right, then down. Good, alternating sides. Twist right, left, and down. Left, right, and down. Good, keep on going. Right, left, chin away from the chest, elbows wide. Left, right, good. Last two here. Good, last one. Good, use the strength of your core to make your way all the way up into boat pose. We're gonna hang out here for a moment. Roll those shoulders down and back. Good, length through the spine and through the neck. Good, reaching through your fingers. Option to extend our legs here in a full boat pose. We're leaning back 45 degrees. Our core is engaged. Deep breaths. We're gonna hold for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Drop the feet, soles of the feet together and knees come wide. Take a deep inhale. Lengthen the spine, exhale, we fold forward. Good, we can either place our hands around our feet here, or maybe we walk them forward on our mat. Let those knees fall to the floor here and open up through the hips. Good, you can relax the back of the neck. Walk your hands forward a little bit more. Deep inhale. And exhale, roll on up. All right, we're gonna tuck our left foot into the side of our hip, and then take our right leg on top, and again, tuck that foot and ankle into the side of your hip here as much as you can. See if you can draw your knees towards one another here into cow face legs here. Good, you're gonna feel a deep stretch into your glutes, especially on this right side here. This pose is gonna look different on everyone. We might have our knees touching or we might just have our foot right here. And as long as we're feeling that stretch into our right side of our hip, then you know you're doing something right. Good, let's stay rooted through both of our hips here. Maybe you press down onto that leg. Deep inhale and exhale. Let's unravel the legs, switch sides. Our right leg tucks under. Take your left leg on top this time. Good, and see if you can draw those knees to touch. Good, lengthen through the spine. Good, see if you can tuck those feet in a little bit more. Press your knees together. Lengthen long through your body. Good, and deep inhale, and exhale, let's unravel. Find tabletop position here. Good, wrists under shoulders, knees under hips. Inhale, we drop the belly and lift the gaze. And exhale, we scoop the belly, drop the gaze. Good, inhale to lift. And exhale to scoop. Inhale, lift. Exhale, scoop. Good, last one, inhale, lift. And exhale, scoop. Good, and back to center. Let's tuck the toes here and lift the knees off the floor until they hover. We're gonna draw right knee into the chest and take it back, left knee into the chest, take it back. Good, alternating legs. You wanna exhale when you draw that knee in, inhale back. Exhale, inhale. Good, keep those knees hovered off the ground. Maybe find a baby scoop through the belly here as we bring our knee into our chest. Last four, and three, and two. Last one, good, and drop those knees, untuck the toes. Inhale, right arm sweeps overhead. Exhale, thread it on through till the back of your right shoulder hits the floor. Good. Now we can either stay here in this twist here, or for an extra challenge, reach your left arm forward and left leg back. Make sure you're nice and grounded through this right arm here. 
and see if you can, while, lift, while keeping the left hip down, see if you can lift your back leg and your front arm. Good, really try and keep left hip down. That'll prevent you from toppling over. But if you do topple over, don't worry. It's totally normal. I definitely toppled over the four, first few times I did this move here. Good, press into your right hand, reach long, deep inhale, and exhale, unravel. Good, back to tabletop. Inhale, left arm sweeps overhead. Exhale, thread and on through. Back of that left shoulder hits the floor. Good, an option to extend right arm and leg here. Good, make sure you're nice and rooted through the left shoulder here. You might need to adjust a little bit to get the right balance. And then see if you can lift off here. Maybe you're just doing the arm, maybe just the leg. Maybe you're lifting for just a few seconds just to try it out. Whatever works for you. Keep that right hip down, down, down. Reach long, deep inhale, and exhale, unravel. Good, all right, let's tuck the toes, make our way to downward dog here and start to walk it out. Good. We're gonna move into our flows now, quicken the pace. Good, and drop both the heels here. Inhale to high plank. Exhale, we chaturanga, knees up or down. Good. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward dog. Good, keep the breath moving and hang out here. We're gonna drop either one elbow at a time or both elbows at the same time. And then lift. Good, move to dolphin and downward dog. Inhale, drop the elbows, exhale up. Good. Really working into our arm strength here. You'll feel it in your triceps. Breathing, last two, last one. Good, let's lift the heels, bend the knees, gaze forward. Hopper step forward on your mat into forward fold. Inhale, half lift, exhale down. Good, toes and heels touch. Sweep the arms overhead into chair pose. Bend through those knees, sink the hips. Good, squeeze your knees together here, working the inner thighs, lengthen through our spine, out the fingers. Good, and start to bring hands to heart center. Good, let's point our right foot extended out in front of us. We're gonna hover it off the ground, take it into a semicircle until it reaches behind us. Semicircle back to front, then place your feet together. Other leg, left leg extends, semicircle around, front, back together, right leg. You can take it as slow as, or as quick as you want. A bit of a challenge for the balance. Good. Switch. Lengthen the spine. Keep that bottom leg bent here. Good. Last one. Good. And back to chair pose. Sink the hips low. Then extend the legs. Right knee comes into the chest. Give it a squeeze. Option to stay here. Maybe we take our right piece fingers here and wrap it around the big toe and start to extend that leg. Left arm reaches out to the side here, lengthen long through the spine, spiraling our left hip forward and right hip back. Shoulders down. Good. Inhale. Exhale, release the foot, bend the knee. Hands to heart center as you send your right leg behind you here. Good, and we're gonna start to bend both knees, right knee into our chest here, and start to extend. Now, if you did bring your blocks to practice here, we can always use them in front of us for support. If you have trouble balancing in this one as we flow in and out, you can always use a wall as well. Good, slowly bend, we're moving in our own time here, and slowly extend. Good, your body is hinging forward. The goal is to get a straight flat line with our whole body and our back leg. Good, bend and extend, lengthen long, shoulders down. Last one and extend, let's hold here. Option to reach those arms forward into warrior three. Good, inhale, reach, 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 reach. 
and exhale, fold forward. Hang out here. Let's slight bend through those knees. Grab the elbows, let your head fall into a pendulum rock here. Good, feel that release through the back. Okay, release those hands, place them onto the floor, hopper, step back to high plank and lower, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward dog. Deep inhale. Exhale, let it go. Good, and we're gonna start to lower and lift those elbows again, either one at a time or two at a time. Your choice. Inhale down, exhale up. Good, tailbone reaches to the sky. Press those heels into the floor, you'll feel a calf stretch. Four. And three. And two. Last one. Good. Lift the heels, bend the knees. Gaze forward. Hopper, step forward on your mat to a forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, down. Good. Toes and heels to touch here. Sweep the arms overhead. Chair pose. Sink through those hips. Good. Weight is back. Reaching long. And slowly bring those hands to heart center here. This time left leg starts as we extend that leg out in front of us, hover it off the ground, start to bring it around, semicircle, and back to front. Step together, other leg, reach, extend it behind you, and front, together. Good job, keep on going. Keep that bottom leg bent. The more you bend it, the more challenging this move is for our legs. Good. Long spine, one more each side. Deep breaths, good, right leg. Good, place your feet together, sink those hips one last time. And extend, left knee comes into the chest here, pull up tall, either stay here. Take your peace fingers on your left leg, sorry, <laughs> left arm. And we're gonna extend here. Good. Right arm reaches to the side here, long through the spine. Good, ribs are in. Drop that left hip. Take a deep inhale. And exhale, release your grip. Bend that knee in, send that left leg behind you. Good, hover here, left hip is down. Good. Start to bend that left knee into the chest. Bend both legs and extend. Good. Good. Inhale down. Exhale up. Beautiful. Lengthen long. Last two. Last one, hold and hover. Option to reach those arms forward for our last few counts. Good, take a deep inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Woo. Good, release that back. Maybe shake our hips out a little bit. Good. All right, let's plant those hands onto the floor here. Hopper, step back on your mat. Slowly lower, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Deep inhale. Exhale, let it go. Three more breaths here. Good. Inhale, right leg sweeps overhead, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee taps right elbow, then tap your wrist. Tap your elbow, back to three-legged dog. Send it overhead. Good. And tap your knee to elbow, wrist, elbow. Send it overhead. Good. Crunch in. Tap, tap, tap. Send it up. Last one. Tap, tap, tap. Hold here. Scoop to the belly. Lift our knee into our chest and take a big step forward between your hands. Good, find a lunge. Inhale, sweep the arms overhead to a back bend. And exhale, back up. 
Good, now we're gonna swivel our back heel in to find goddess pose here. Good, knees are drawing out. Good, find your lunge, turn back to face the front of the mat and find goddess. Good, find your lunge and back to goddess. Good, one more time. And gotta sink low, hips pulse as arms go forward and side, good. Good, and our shoulders are over our hips here. Good, really working into the quadriceps. Four, three, two, and hold. Plant the hands onto our legs here and we sink through the hips. Good, give yourself a bit of a stretch here. Option to come down onto the elbows. All right, let's extend the legs, point the toes forward and fall forward. Good, wide stance forward, fold here. Let the head drop. We're gonna walk our hands to our right leg here. Draw your body towards the right side. Good, and start to walk the hands over to the left side. Good, and back to center. Now let's point the toes to face the front of the mat and step together. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Hands on the mat, hop or step back to high plank. Exhale, chaturanga, squeeze those elbows in. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward dog. Deep inhale. Exhale, release. Good, three big breaths here. Good, inhale, left leg sweeps overhead. Exhale, bring it in and tap the left elbow. Tap the wrist, tap the elbow, sweep it overhead. Good, again, See, bring the knee in, tap the, the elbow, wrist, elbow, sweep it overhead. Elbow, wrist, elbow, sweep it up. Last one, elbow, wrist. Elbow, knee into the chest, scoop through the belly and take a big step forward on your mat into a lunge. Inhale, sweep the arms overhead, back bend. Exhale, back up to center. Whoop. Good. Drawing our right hip forward in our lunge here. Good, now swivel that back heel in. Find your goddess position. Good, find your lunge. Find your goddess and find your lunge. Two more. Final round. Good, and hold in goddess position here. We're gonna pulse the arms forward and side. Forward and side. Good, sink those hips. Good, we've got four, three, two, one, and sink those hips and place your hands on your thighs or maybe your elbows. Good, do a bit of a hip stretch here. Good, deep inhale. And exhale, extend the legs, toes point forward and fold forward. Good, now this time you have the option if Headstand is in your practice. You can go ahead and move into headstand. If not, let's clasp our hands behind us. Extend the arms and draw them away from our body here. Good. Big shoulder stretch. Good. Let those arms fall away from you and towards the floor. Deep inhale, and exhale, unclasp your hands. If you're in headstand, return back to our wide stance forward fold here. Let's point the toes forward and step together into forward fold. Inhale to half lift, and exhale down. Hands on the mat, hopper step back to high plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward dog. And deep inhale. 
Exhale, release. And good, let's drop those knees down and sit onto our bum here. We're gonna place our hands beh um, beside our knees here, and we're gonna start to lift off our hips and knees into Lalasana lift off here. Good, so we're gonna repeat that. Just keep on lifting and lowering. And what I want you to think of is press into the hands, scoop through the belly and through the chest, and our shoulders are going to come forward in space here. So use the core to lift off, press into the floor, knees come into the chest. Good, if you want an extra challenge, maybe we lift off one leg at a time. And eventually, you'll be able to lift both legs at the same time. Good, keep on going. Let's do two more. Good. Okay, so let's flip around. Come on to our bum here. Let's find boat pose. Our knees are gonna be bent. Either we can keep our hands here or place them behind us. And we're gonna extend one leg, draw it down, lift it up, back to bend. Other leg, extend, lower, lift, and bend. Good, so your choice with the arms here. Good, work the core one last time here. Make it count. Good, push through. Whew, this is a tough one, but you can do it. Good, let's do two more reps. Good, last one. Good, hold boat pose here, and we're gonna slowly lower onto your mat. Good, we're gonna lower for four, Three, two, and release all the way down. All right, let's bring those knees into the chest. Good. Okay, taking our left foot, placing it on the right thigh here. Thread the arms through, clasp them behind your right thigh, and to thread the needle stretch. Good, that left knee is splaying outwards away from us as our legs draw towards us. Option to stay here with our hands clasping behind our thigh, or maybe we extend that top leg and reach above our left foot here, and maybe we draw that leg closer in towards us. Good, make sure to keep your low back still connected to the floor. Good, find a deep inhale. And exhale, release. Let's switch to the other side. Right ankle crosses over the left thigh. Thread the arms through behind that left thigh here. Thread the needle. Good, deep glute stretch here. Good, option to extend that left leg here, maybe reaching a little bit higher on your leg and drawing it towards you. Good, we're breathing. Good, low back and shoulders into the mat. Deep inhale, and exhale, release. All right, let's draw our knees out to the side, soles of the feet to the sky, find happy baby. Grab a hold of the outside of your feet here. Good. And roll those shoulders down and back, keep them connected into the mat. Same with your low back. Press hands into your feet and feet up into your hands here. Maybe finding some gentle rocks to finish off class here. Good, and let's find a deep inhale. And exhale, knees into the chest. Let's rock up, make our way to a seated position at the top of your mats. Let's take three final breaths together here. Inhale, reach overhead, and exhale, hands, heart center. Inhale, reach up, exhale, heart center. Last one, inhale, reach up, and exhale, heart center. Thank you so much for joining me in our class today, and I hope you have a beautiful day. Namaste.
Thank you so much, everyone, for joining me in class today. If you enjoyed this class, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more workouts and yoga classes. And follow me on my Fit by Mick Instagram account. See you next time.